Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. Just read a rather interesting article, watched a rather interesting short video. It was posted on the uh, 26th of February, 2018. It was put up by uh, Tea Party. Dot org. Strange responders throw body bag in back of truck amid Florida shooting. Now you're going to see four what appear to be killers, and they've got a large duffel bag. What do you think's in a duffel bag, huh? What's in the bag? Footage shows possible violation of protocol. Possible violation of protocol? How about the footage shows the murderers? Outer cops. First responders were filmed carrying a heavy body bag to the back of a pickup truck, which apparently occurred either during the shooting, which is odd, or right after the shooting when police should be securing the scene for an investigation. But what's in the bag? Weapons? But how could one shooter, what's the media currently reporting, handle a weapon cache that takes two trained professionals to carry? Hmm. And they wouldn't take evidence away from the crime scene before an investigation. That's not protocol. Is it SWAT gear? Don't they typically carry gear on their own instead of lugging it around in body bags? And why is the bag being escorted by four officers, one of which appears to be wearing medical gloves? Hmm. It's also unlikely that the body bag is carrying a dead body because, frankly, cops don't just throw dead bodies in the back of a waiting pickup truck. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think what we've got is the four murderers. You know what needs to be also looked at, but who's to look at it? There's no one to go to. Where were these kids shot? Were they shot on the second floor, on the first floor, on the third floor? How could one person get around shooting so many people in different locations all by himself? Folks, there's unbelievable evidence that they did it. You've got Stacy LaPelle, an eyewitness to the event. There's audio of the guns being fired. The audio could be analyzed. Where's the health ranger? Hmm? The audio could be analyzed and the locations could be determined that they're not in the same proximity. Nicholas Cruz is a patsy, no different than the other shooters. These events are all done by our evil, crooked government. You want to watch this little video. I can't understand how this information can't be further, further analyzed. I mean, come on, folks. They can zoom in on those cops. They can figure out exactly who those cops are. They can get that license plate. They can track down that white vehicle. But they won't do it. You know why? Because they're the ones that did it. This is all designed intentionally. They're trying to get the sympathy of the American voters so they can get in more whacked out Democrats. This is completely insane. You need to watch this video. You need to send this video along with the links for Stacey LaPelle to every agency. Well, I don't know what is that going to do. There's no one to go to. So we just have to sit back and watch the slaughter occur. There will be another event on March the 4th. There will be more than one event, I believe, on March the 4th based on the Craigslist ads for medical Chrysler actors. Folks, wake the hell up. Watch this video.
You see the killers. There's four of them. Folks, I also said that analysis could be done on the bullets, and you'd find they came from different guns. Am I watching too much TV? I don't think so. But none of that's going to happen, because they're the ones that are doing it. Think what you like. You can't deny what's in this video. The cops did it. And what's Trump doing? Well, I'm going to write an executive order and I'm going to ban bump stocks. Hey, Trump, take a look at this video. Why are you putting a legitimate business or businesses out of business? They had nothing to do with this. This is your sheriffs in action. That's what this is. Watch the video. You can't deny the truth, can you?